Okay, is anybody like roosters? Because there's the whole thing. Wowza. Poppy trail, rooster. They got everything. I've never even seen the cruet set. Look at this. $50. No wonder. I mean, I've never ever seen that. But it's cool. It's very cool. 45 for the 12 piece tea set. Wow. That's nice. Wow. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. I do like the Scotty dogs. This booth has a lot of nice porcelain. I did, they have these, the, I love these. They actually have a handle on their own wheels. I found a fairy. Where is she? There she is. I'm not a big one to collect bells, but I love, I can't find the handle. I love the fairy. I absolutely love her. She's beautiful. I collect fairies. And, uh, kind of liking those roosters, but. This is really pretty. It's got a pontal. Now see, $24. Jocelyn from Crazy Lamp Lady, Antique Nomad, half a dozen of them would know what that is. I have no clue. Kind of like the dogs, but I have a dog to counter that size I haven't been able to sell yet. I guess nobody likes hound dogs. Some lusterware. I think they call that copperware in the back. I thought that was broken at first, but that's the way that's made. Look at the pretty basket. That's nice. Oh. Look at all the old kids' books hiding in there. Now that's kind of neat. Definitely got a 70s vibes, but I like the wheat and the poppies. Look at this pretty boy. And then all these Royal Daltons. These are nice. Like that little piece too. Now let's see. <laughs> I'm looking over there thinking that basket can't come in there with me. So I'm going to sit the basket on the floor. And let's see. What we can see in here. This is a pretty little thing. Fenton Opalescent, seven dollars. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price or what. I just don't know. Oh, check these out. These are old puzzle pieces. They were a lot harder <laughs> to match up back then, that's for sure. That's nice. Set of cabbage stuff for 85. The deer. This is neat. I like that sugar bowl and creamer. And then, I don't know that company. But, uh. Hmm. Let's see what we can find. I mean, I know I'm probably well out of my... I have old hats. I need to get them online. What is she? She's 18. Vintage musical new mother. Very pretty. Oh, little tinies. I love little tinies. Oh, it's open. Let's see. There's little frozen dollies. I'm curious about the teeny tiny little piggy. Mini pig. He's really tiny. Really, really tiny. And he's two dollars, so yes please. Mini cat is four, and the mini cat's quite old, but I'm not really feeling it for the mini kitty. 
And Icelandic gnomes are seven. Oh, I see Piglet way in the back. Wow, that's a seriously tiny. Six dollars. Mini pen knife. Hmm. Teach wood carving to Boy Scouts. That might actually come in handy for some of the tinier stuff. And I can hook it onto something. How's it feel in my hand? Well, not too bad. Six dollars, I think. Oh, never mind. He doesn't want to close. That would have been handy, but doesn't want to close? I'm not going to try it. Tiny little address book. These are amazing. These are really old little change purses. Those are very cool. So we'll shut that, and we've got little tiny piggy. Now I will look it up when I get home and make sure it's not a, um, I don't know that it is, but make sure it's not a Reagan Honecker. Um, it'd be nice if it is because then I can ID it, but that's an Andrew Wyeth print. I know his stuff. Archie Comics. What have we here? Paint by numbers, but I'm looking at this. The house by the side of the road. What is your price? Seven dollars. You're not dated though. All right. Well, let's see. Chicky chickies. Otagiri, twelve dollars. Wait, what are you? Oh, oh, I see. You two should be together. Eight bucks for the pair. Hmm. They are really nice looking. But I'd be concerned that that might... They should go for more, but... I really don't like paying that much for my salt and pepper shakers. I like this. This is all in, like, an enamel paint. Really thick. It's very cool looking. Fourteen dollars. Oh, well, look at the old Gettysburg and Valley Forge pennants. All right, let's go see if we can find another booth. Oh my goodness, yes, please. Okay, so lots of Hagen Reniker. I'm loving this little tiny koala made out of glass. That's really cool. How much is the little owl? Five. He's not a pin, he's just a piece of metal. I think he's meant to be a bookmark. But look at all of these guys. Look at all the little puppies. Watch his poodle. Poodle is... Poodle is three fifty. Oh, I'm gonna have to really take a look in here. Look at all the little animals. Oh, I'm loving this. And a little more little tiny stuff up top. Just my kind of thing. So, I'll have to take a look and see what I can get. Alright, Georgie's Halloween. I never knew that there was a Halloween book. I have a couple of the Georgie the Ghost books. I love them. Um, I don't know how many were written, but now I've got one to hunt for. Because that's awesome. It's in here. I do like that one. That's the Prince of Wales feathers. Needs a polishing though. These are really nice. I would get some of these to wear if I could wear jewelry at where I work. I do miss that, being able to wear jewelry. For those of you who like pots. Royal Copley. Huh, nice. Wow. Robert. What's it say? Robert Hike. All I know is that's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow. So, this whole, I love that. 
That's an awesome steampunk mask. What else is in here? Oh, there we go. But this whole thing reminds me of stuff a vision and vintage would love. I remember right, she's the one that likes all the bizarre stuff. That is some wild... I used to have that book. Wow. There is some interesting stuff here. That's not English. <laughs> What the heck? Mummified mouse. Okay. Oh yeah. Ooh. Lots of little skulls. Interesting stuff. Hello everyone. I thought I would tag the hall on for the first floor of the Pensbury Antique Mall in Chad's Ford. And if you were eagle-eyed about it, you spotted this lovely little piece of Fenton glass. Now they called it a Fenton Opulescent Horn of Plenty, and I paid up for that, and I actually paid the seven dollars, um, because I've, I've been trying to acquire some glass. Since I hit 500 subscribers, I want to have a special glass sale where that's all I have that night, is just glass. But to do that, I have to acquire some glass because that's one thing I'm not finding too much of here in the, in the in the warehouse behind me or in any parts of my house. So that I'm gonna save for that sale. But as I said, seven dollars to me that's that's paying up a little bit for that. Um, I also picked up these little cuties, and I have to decide what I'm gonna do with them. Now these two are chained together, but they're chained goofy because they don't face each other. You know, so the the, the chaining is kind of backwards. So um so those two are together. And this will probably go on eBay because there's a lot of people that collect um the artist Clyburn's cats. So I have to make sure all the pieces are in there because that's a little puzzle. These were, they're made in Italy. And I think, I think it's a salt and vinegar set because this has one hole and this has two. And it just said uh, amber glass PR shakers. I don't know what the PR stands for. I personally have seen ones like similar to this when I was in London and they had the salt and the vinegar to put on your on your chips on your french fries. I don't know if they do that in Italy so if you have any idea of what these would be for other than that um, put it in the comments. So I picked up those now I did find comps for this on eBay and I paid 12 for um, the three pieces but I, the only one I found comps of was this little guy and it's I Goedinger and Company. I don't know much about them. I really love the pretty yellow. I do like my yellow. But you have that, but there's also a matching creamer and sugar. Now what I couldn't figure out though is why would you have, I mean it's too small to be a gravy boat. So I don't know. Um, I did wonder if this was meant to be a honey pot and then you use this as the creamer. You could. Or no, this one is the honey pot. But either way, whatever you use them for, they're really, really pretty. 
So I have those. Um, also from the first floor. I got these. Now I'm pretty sure they listed them as shot glasses. But I'm pretty sure I've seen these in one of the glass books that I've recently gotten. So I'm going to have to do a little more research and find out. That's an awful tall shot. <laughs> they don't have any indication of a maker on the bottom of them, so I'm going to do a little looking in my books. I found this wonderful, wonderful pair, and they're sitting on a big heart. And it is signed on the back. Ron Ray, 1989. So they are a pair of bluebirds of happiness on a nice heart. That's That was really pretty. I thought I'd grab that. They called them lovebirds. I was surprised that that was only six dollars because I know they go for more than that just just even as a single one goes for more than that. So that was a nice find. I also picked up this little packet, it's little tiny summer vintage. There's little tiny bells covered with the old glitter. Um, there's some weird little snowflake thingies. I'm going to send these to Sarah at Thrift U for her assemblages. I mean, that really... What was it? bag of Christmas. Yeah, they charged me two dollars. I thought that was one dollar. But nah, they charged me two. Oh, I don't mind. I'm going to send that to Sarah. I also picked up, and these will be in this week's live sale, I managed to find some vintage Valentines that were a really super reasonable price. And I was intrigued by this one because it says HB Productions Incorporated and I'm pretty sure he's a character from Hanna-Barbera. I'm just not sure who. So if anybody recognizes him from a Hanna-Barbera cartoon, please put it in the comments. Let me know who he is because I just don't remember him. So that is Oh, this was the other thing from the first floor. These great Easter picks. Now, they even have their tag said they are made by fruit art made in Hong Kong. Now, there's only one chick, and they have little plastic flowers, and they themselves are hollow plastic. One of the bunnies doesn't have any flowers with him. Poor little bunny. Um, but they are really cute, really Eastery. I'm going to save the Easter stuff I have been finding for closer to Easter. I'll probably put them in a live sale in March. Um, probably the first or second Thursday live sale in March. I'll, I'll put the Easter stuff in. So I'll be hanging on to that. But that's everything that I picked up from the first floor. Now there is a lower level because this antique mall is built into a hillside. So there is a lower level and the stuff that you get at the lower level you have to buy at the on the lower level. And then when you're shopping upstairs you have to buy it on the upstairs. So the next video I'll send out will be the one of what little I filmed on the lower level and what my haul was for that. So, as usual, if you like what you saw, hit subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you know when I have videos coming up, and, you know, if you want to be at the live sales, they're always Thursday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm always on either for a live sale or an unboxing because what you see behind me is basically my Warehouse 13. It is uh, the combination of three estates worth of stuff crammed into this house. And every week I'm going through something. <laughs> We're either unboxing something and showing you with me what I find. 
or we're doing a live sale. So come and join the chat and have some fun. And I'll see you then. Bye.